Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most kind. Hello again and welcome to a brand new show, Out of Focus, where we talk about different issues and different problems to do with our society and the youth today. I'm very excited to be here. I'm sure our two guests are very excited to be here as well. Yeah, we are. And out of focus is just a topic about Islam, where we talk about different issues and problems and the things, general advice we should um, do and give to, to um, teenagers today that are struggling with um, their duties towards Islam and just generally being a Muslim. And we address certain topics that are very important to be discussed and are not discussed that often. That's why Out of Focus is a show where we bring the youth's voice alive. So, today's topic is extremely important. It's a topic where it relates to basically everyone, isn't it? Yeah. So today our topic's name is behaviour towards our parents. Now, this is a topic where a lot of teenagers today don't realise it, but they tend to um, not realise when their behaviour um, their behavior towards their parents, whether it's an uh, appropriate way to, behaving, um, to be behaving towards your parents or whether it's not appropriate. Today, teenagers don't realise that. So, let's introduce our two guests. Hello, what is your name? Um, my name is Nabila. Nabila? Yeah. You've obviously already met you, but obviously some of the audience won't know, isn't it? Yeah. So, um... How are you today? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm good. That's good. What about you? What's your name? <laughs> Hello, my name is Shamila and yeah, I'm excited to be here today. And we've, we've been on here in the previous yeah. shows as well. But so yeah. this is for the audience that don't know her, Shamila and Nabila. Obviously, we had other different guests last previous episodes. Today, Nabila and Shamila are going to be joining us. And yeah. we are going to talk about our behaviour towards parents. And this is like a really important... Um, Significant yeah. um, like issue to address, isn't it? Because most children these days, they're not really... What, what's the word like? They, they don't know. They don't behave yeah. as well. So they, they don't respect yeah. the parents um, as much as they really should be because yeah. obviously being Muslim and being it's our age, you have to... Basically, obviously, being Muslim and being our age, we have to respect our elders and, you know, show them with, like... Yeah, it's one of our yeah. duties to respect your parents. It's literally a duty to respect your mum and to respect your dad. Yeah, like, when you talk to them, say, Asalaamu Alaikum, and, you know... Speak nicely, with yeah. a good tone. Never, like, obviously, yeah. um, obviously, because your parents are, like, the ones who've always, you know, look up, looked after you, took care of you. Your mom carried her in her womb for nine months, and during that time, she couldn't eat properly, she couldn't sleep properly. And when you were born, she'd only ever sleep after, like when you were sleeping, she'd only ever eat after you had eaten. Like exactly, it, she it was always sacrificed that, everything. You know, basically. She sacrificed herself. She sacrificed her um, enjoyment, her free time for you because that's how much she loved you. And I think that's why you should always kind of like be grateful for what everything that she did and in the Quran it says like speak to your parents in a soft voice like in a kind voice yeah like don't give them attitude because you know a lot of kids like you know even if they don't say anything rude like even saying something like what like they go like what like I find that really kind of you know disrespectful yes like wrong. it's not obviously you don't mean that as disrespectful but then like your tone of voice and your attitude towards saying some things it is like it really matters because that's what shows your true emotions and, you know. So and they get hurt by it, even yeah. though you don't know it. Your parents do get hurt. Because they have feelings too, anyway. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Imagine how you'd feel if your future daughter or son um, she spoke is, to you in yeah. that way. Because, like, obviously they spent so much of the time to raise you, take care of you. And they obviously, like, even if you don't realise it now, they, pro they love you more than anything in the world. Like, it's always you that comes first before them. Like, I, I'm sure they take a bullet for you. So, like, you'd o you always just have to respect them and just be yeah. kind to them because I know you might not realise it now, but that you do really love you. And, yeah, and yeah. it's just, like, 
and it's just manners to like you know it's, it's literally just morals isn't it uh-huh. you should know your morals you should know it's basically but common it's sense you should know to respect your mom there's a saying and your dad. what is it um heavens at your mother's feet yeah. no, like he- um the gate of heaven is beneath your mother's feet and yeah it kind of it kind of rink, like shows to you shows like how message. important it is how important your parents are because like you know the way you respect your respect your pe- like if you respect your mom that's that's your gain to heaven doesn't matter how good you are how amazing you are how religious you are if you disrespect your parents like the Shame gate of you. heaven is closed for you yeah. because it's beneath your mother's feet and it's kind of just like it's, it shouldn't even be something that you know we should make a massive lecture about and I can okay and because oh, I, I understand that obviously parents lecture you they um, get, they get sometimes on your nerves. shout at you yeah they, they get shout, on your nerves sometimes shout at you they get get on your nerves and they might not allow you to do certain things but always think think about it like kind of step out of the situation no matter how angry you are literally just step out of the situation pretend like this pretend like you could just see everything in front of you and really think about like, the bigger picture like yeah think about the bigger picture and i promise to you like 100 percent, you will realize everything that your parents are doing everything Same. that your parents are saying to you it's for your own good because they love you and they want the best for you because they know what's best for you because you're their children you know they've raised you for however long it may be you know 18 years 13 years 10 years whatever like they they've seen you grow they know what's good for you they know what's bad for you even though you might think oh they're just you know saying it they're, they're never ever ever gonna say anything to negatively affect you yeah for the sake yeah. of you know obviously maybe you think it's negative but it's actually for your own benefit yeah it's actually for your own good basically for yeah so another quote that uh, i've been coming across is never raise your voice to your mum or your dad is because they taught you how to speak. Yeah. Yeah. It's true, isn't it? Like they taught you everything. There is to know. Like, there is to like, know, isn't it? That like most things basically, because to how to talk, how to eat, how to dress, walk, how, how to, to everything. And then Your that immense effort. It just it takes. It's 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 it's, it's, it's not. You just don't do it like. It's not easy to be a parent. It's really hard. Because obviously, so like much you might not realize. Really. Yeah. So much question. Because obviously, you might not realize it now, but then when you're older, you probably you're probably gonna have children yourself, and yeah, you're gonna realize. Yeah. We become parents ourselves, and then. Um, you obviously definitely wouldn't want your children to be like. Think about it. Like the way that you're talking to your parents. Imagine yeah. if your children were talking saying to like you like that. I'm um, like. If if, 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 it's not, if it's if it's if you wouldn't want your children to talk to you like that, then don't, don't talk. talk to your parents. Yeah, like cause, that, um, because yeah, um, there is a saying in the Quran where it says, um, if you disrespect your parents now and treat them extremely badly, then w- uh, when your p- uh, kids grow up, they're gonna talk to you in the exact same way. Shall I tell you a story about this um, father and his little boy? Yeah, sure. Right. So Go basically, on. yeah, there's this father and this little boy. And then they were they were outside in the park or something, and then they saw um, a bird. He, the, the little boy saw a bird, and that boy goes, "Oh, father, I saw a bird. It doesn't look so amazing." He said it, yeah. And then um, and he goes, "What is that bird and stuff in the sky?" And the dad goes, "Oh, um, uh, the name of the bird." And that little boy asked the question more than fifty times. The dad replied the same answer really nicely and sweetly oh uh, my little darling um it's a it's a the, the the name of the bird and then when that boy little boy got up to be like a um, teenager like 17 16 the father when he became old he he asked oh son what is that in the sky and then the the uh, the son replies so rudely with a uh, disrespectfully with a really really disgusting tone to his father um it's a bird can't you see that b is a shall i spell it out for you b i r d and then the dad got his diary and he and he came show he showed it to his son and the and, and the son goes and son reads it and then basically on the diary it said oh my son um today my son asked me Oh, more than 50 times what is that on the tree and I replied it's a bird and he's like just to see um, 
steady gay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't understand what it is. So basically, um, the father, when this little boy asked the father what the what the thing on the tree was, even though he repeatedly asked more than fifty times, the he father still said still, it in a nice, yeah, in a very manner. like nice tone, and he said to his little son, "It's a bird, son." But then, when the time came, when the father asked the son why it was the boy was very rude about it and she was, he was just like can't you see what it is are you blind it's a bird yeah you know yeah. Like very rude yeah. so it's like so it's just like there's a meaning behind it isn't it it's yeah. like um so just like yeah, yeah your parents it's nourished you took care of you brought you up you have protected to, you yeah. from everything they taught and you you they're the people that you're treating like your enemies basically yeah because did you hear about that um the other story where the when I was one, my mom did my, my mom did this for me. When I was two, my mom did this for me. No, I don't. What was that? It's like it's like it's like a poem kind of thing, and then yeah. basically, at twenty nine, uh, my mom did this for me, but I did this, and then all the things basically the mom did for her, and then she treated her mom really badly, and then when the mom uh, died, that's when she realised what she never done and what she did came crashing down on Yeah, her. that's like a really yeah. huge thing because obviously your parents are there for now and like they're obviously not going to like yeah, stay there forever. Yeah, they're not going to stay there forever. The time they're here is very short. Exactly, your life, their life is really short, your life is really short. And if you disrespect them now and you just like treat them really bad, like even like little you're things. You're going to regret it when you're older. If like when they pass, like you know, like pass away or like when they're gone, you're going to realise all the stuff and you're going to regret it so much because when you're older you get to realise more. And, like you realise like a lot of like your surroundings and you're going to realise like everything that you did you wrong when you were younger yeah. and yeah. Like so you might as well just do it now before mm -hmm. ending up regretting it isn't it this is actually life changing isn't it for you and like, if, if anything like one thing i've learned in my entire life is your friends like okay. your yeah. um okay your friends are gonna tell you what you want to hear your real friends like the people who genuinely care about you your friends and your family they're gonna they're gonna be honest with you and they're gonna tell you what you don't want to hear and they're not always gonna you know the sugarcoat truth. everything they're not always going to, you know, tell you everything you want to. They're going to tell you what's best for you. They're going to give you real advice. They're going to give you good advice. And it's because they care about you. Like, mm. your friends aren't going to... They're just going to say what you want to hear because of, they want you to like them. They're not, they don't really care about... They don't yeah. care about you. They don't care about... They literally, yeah. Yeah, like, so true. people who care about you, they're gonna be honest with you, and, and that's basically this, yeah, mainly think, your parents think, yeah, and think like about proper it. close friends. Your parents might be like pissing you off now, but like it doesn't mean that they're saying it for you, like in order to you know annoy you. They're saying it because they want the best for you. They, they want, want you to yeah. improve, basically. So yeah. we just have to please, please, please just try show some respect <laughs> and and know that they're higher than us yeah. they're more clever the more knowledgeable yeah the that's more like the one also thing like a growing trend like in the uk now like and it's really really common putting your parents into a care home when they're like yeah like oh. 50 when they're when in the they're old retired. care yeah. home thing that's the thing that doesn't though, make it? sense to me is they take care of you for the 50 years that they weren't in a care home and as soon as they get old and they're unable they to need, take care of themselves to, yeah. and they need your help, you don't care and you <coughs> put them in a care home. Exactly. It's like, if they could take care of you, why can you not take care of your parents? You have to you know? uh, say thank you to them, obviously. What, what was Be the point of them raising you then? Exactly. You have to have some uh, gratitude and uh, like a thank you. <laughs> By and yeah. um, by not just saying it, by actually doing it and 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 giving giving your words a bit of meaning, isn't it? So, mm -hmm. and you're obviously uh, girls, obviously in our culture and stuff, we get married off. Yeah. But um, I think it's important for boys to stay um with the parents. Yes, yeah, not just girls. And even if yeah. you do get it's married both. off, like it doesn't mean you separate yeah, yeah, yourself yeah, 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 yeah. from separate yourself from your family. Like yeah, obviously your mother. If you get your, married yeah. to your um like. <laughs> You have a husband. It means that you just have a l slightly larger family now. You don't yeah. lose one family. Yeah. You just become one great big family. You know, Cause, like one thing is like your parents know everything. Like it sounds trust me, like they know everything. They, they'll trust they like, will know. They will find everything. out anything you they will do. Find out. And you might think like, oh, like sh like you hate them because they they always like shout at you. They do this, but then they oh 
as we said, they're always doing that for your own good, and that's like one thing that like, they're more knowledgeable than you. They know more because they've lived you their think life. You might, you, yeah. you might think you don't, you they don't know nothing, but they do. Because they've lived their life a lot longer than you have. They've been out there. Experiences. They've, they've experienced more than you have, and they're more like wise and they're more noble. So, and and you might think, oh, but you, mom, you're so. Mum and dad are so old, like you don't know anything, you know the trends, this and that. But then at the end of the day, they always know better than you do. Like they know a lot more than you do, even if they're they like might not know the trends, but they know what the actual like the reality. Of the it. reality mm. of everything is. Then you might I go like, oh my gosh, my mum's such a sorry. Um, you might go like, oh my gosh, my mum's such a freshie. Like she's so bungled this and that. But then obviously it's because like. Well, there's a reason she behind it. Yeah. Doesn't mean she's dumb or anything. Yeah, she's mean. still like, I'm pretty Just sure she's a lot smarter than mm -hmm. like Just you right now. At your Just age. because she's fresh, she doesn't make her, you know, any different. Yeah, like uneducated. And obviously, I actually, you're gonna laugh. Obviously, at a this. lot of parents are. You're indeed. gonna laugh at this, but I actually saw a picture on Instagram today. But the picture is what kind of like got to you. Yeah, struck me because. It's a picture of a 75-year-old woman, like taking, still like taking care of of um, her 50-year-old disabled son because Aww. he couldn't take care of himself, and it's just like oh. what were the words? Where, huh? What did they say? Um, it had like a little poem underneath. Um, I can't remember it exactly, but it was. I think I'll I'll, I'll send you like a link oh, or something. Oh, that's but so sweet. It's so that's like that I was like I slightly teared up of it because. Here there are like you know children putting their parents in like care homes at the age of 50 because they can't be able to take care of them and here this woman 75 like unable to take care of herself oh, she's 75 for her entire really old. life for 50 years she took care of her disabled oh son my God, who's God. like 50 years old like Imagine how yeah. much effort like exactly I found 50 like, years I love a little bit it's I like love that, that your mother, parents have yeah. for you, yeah. the love that's that your mum has for you. It's like unconditional. It's so touching. Yeah, it's, it's really touching. emotional touching, isn't it? Like, the love that your parents have for you is unconditional. I know. It doesn't matter what you do, it doesn't matter how you mess up. Mm. If you're holy like and you truly one. repent, if you truly repent, Allah's going to forgive you and, and your, your parents, parents are going to forgive you. If, if you make your parents happy, Allah's happy with you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. there's, um, there's also this thing, right, like, um, you might, you know, your friends that like they might be there for you now, but then your family, your parents, will always, always, be there for yeah, you. like, you like if you wait, so if yeah. you have like an argument with your parents, or whatever, you're gonna go like, oh, I'm gonna go live with my friends that forget you, this and that. Then like, your friends, they might take care of you for like two, three days, but then obviously they're gonna go like get out of my house, cause obviously like, they're just like they're your friends, they're not like they didn't, they didn't, they didn't raise you. Yeah, like, I don't know. You, have, you haven't known them for as long as yeah. you know your parents. And your parents, they're, they're always like, no matter what happens, no matter nothing, like anything, you're always you're gonna end street, up coming back yeah. to them. Like at the end of the day, like if say for instance when you're like a lot older, not enough money, you're gonna go back to your parents to ask for stuff. If you run away from the house, like at the end of the day, no matter how far you go, you're always gonna end up coming back to the house because at the end of the day, it's them like that you need in your life. Yeah, that's another thing. Like. There's people are like there's so many kids nowadays oh, yeah, running uh, away because they think oh, you know yeah that's another like issue. I find that kind of like running away, away, you know. Um, you don't yeah. say any names but because we're not saying any names, um, obviously. But yeah, but the thing is, like, I understand you might be so angry. You need to, you know, le like you leave need a bit of time by yourself to leave the house for a while cool to calm down, come back. But don't. Like, I don't understand the point of, like, genuinely, like, you know, running away from home. Because the thing is, where are you going to go? Who's going to accept What's gonna you? What's going to happen your to your life if you run away, exactly. basically? Like, uh, giving end, up your education and leaving day, your family. 100%, like, you're either going to get, you know, you, like, 100% you're going to end up coming back home, no matter what the circumstance. Like, you're either, like... Your friends then, might accept you in yeah, for exactly, a while, but yeah. and, and the thing the is, when you come, day, back home, come back home, you can't even look at your mother in the eye. You That's you you don't yeah. destroy. You feel shit. Yeah, entire. you just destroy the relationship. No matter, what, it. no matter what might have caused you to run away, that like the aftermath of that wouldn't wouldn't have compared at all to the aftermath of you running away from home because by doing that you just Lost kind of like all destroyed, destroyed like the. 
basic establishments of like you know trust and like your love and your communication with your parents because you know you, you decided no I can't have this anymore yeah like one really 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 important thing is like you need to have a good relationship with your parents like I know it might be like oh my gosh I don't want to hang out with them but then you should because like just you should like yeah hang out with them yeah just like talk to them yeah communication is really important mm -hmm. just talk to them like tell them about everything like m me and my sister like we're really close to our parents like I tell my mom like everything that happens in my life and yeah she's like really understanding of it like obviously even she knows that I mess up in my life sometimes but well, then no. I always yeah. like change myself for the better and she like criticizes me about it but then it's for me to change myself it's for yeah. us yeah. to better ourselves as yeah i found that really cute though because remember your mom was ill and then you took care of her <laughs> and you gave her so yeah it's so cute you cleaned up the house and you gave her like tea and stuff <laughs> I oh, was telling mama, oh, so cute. She didn't oh. do anything. What? No, <laughs> no, I took care of my mama. So yeah, it's important. What did you do? I made food. She was for no, her. she was no, she was eating food in the other room. <laughs> I made the food for her. <laughs> you made the food. Yeah, I made the food, oh, and she was eating. And your mom got better in one day, innit? it. Mm. Oh, see, yeah. it's really important. See how um, you should learn from yeah, these that's two. Like one that, really big yeah. thing, like when your parents are ill or the time of need, because you never know. Like this life is really short, and um. You never know what might you happen. Might like, tomorrow, they might, so yeah, you might not even live till tomorrow. To, you know, make don't a change and yeah, do yeah, something. Don't do it now. For something to Instead happen. of doing it, or do, it, make or it or do it next week or do it. Yeah, yeah like, don't wait I for always some do that with my diet. Don't oh my god. You yeah. <laughs> didn't wait for something to happen, like, make it happen. Yeah. It's the same with praying or anything, isn't it? Yeah. Like, oh, I'm, I'm going to do uh, the namaz later. No, you have to do it now. In Islam. You have to do it now, yeah. Like, one of the most important things is having a good relationship with your parents Mom, and your family yeah, your dad. And yeah because they're obviously like the main main people in your life like they're the only people you they probably should. yeah like there shouldn't be anyone else more closer to you than your parents are. and allah obviously. yeah obviously and allah allah is yeah. your main and then it's your mom your dad Mm. And then your dad after your mom is three times. Yeah, your, your mom three times. Yeah, your dad. obviously everyone knows that Prophet Muhammad said a long story when the man asks him, um, "Who's more? Who's the most Ooh. important?" So, so oh, um, some story. recent news that happened with that girl. What was her name? Um, Ali Zara. Basically, she was how old was she? I think six or something, innit? Yeah, six oh. years old. Yeah, yeah, she passed. Away. Yeah, she passed away yesterday, isn't it? Yeah, yeah she from passed away at six so six twenty six p.m. something like that. She yeah. passed away yeah. yesterday. It's so sad because she the mum loved her so much. She did oh. everything for her little kid. It's, it's on Instagram. You can yeah. see it. it everyone's posting. Story, yeah, story. everyone's posting about and it. So basically, this girl, yeah, it's, no, she got an, uh, like the disease um, called. Ca was she had a cancer? No, she had it's cancer. not a disease. She had cancer. She had cancer. She lost her battle with cancer. I think it was yeah. leukemia. She yeah, no, yeah, that, that, that. She yeah. lost her battle with leukemia. Um, she was six years old and she was, she, um, it was so it was so I teared up a little bit. Emotional, literally. Um, so she, just, yeah, yeah, what? She was like, she was like extremely enthusiastic about like, um, makeup. And makeup, yeah, she's a makeup artist. Yeah, she, <laughs> yeah, she it's was really a makeup cute, artist. And her mom did everything for her to, yeah, you know, realise her dream and realise, um, what she wanted to do and obviously yeah. that's for her mum and that's it. like really sad because okay. obviously yeah the mum so loved yeah. the daughter she used to tell her she used to tell her parents um she used to tell her um, um her mum that what she wanted to do was make up but then the mum um used to like to tell like papa paragraphs about how much he loved uh, um she loved, she loved her daughter it's so sad it's literally so, so, so it's it's a, uh, inshallah allah will grant her, her to pray, heaven pray yeah. please please pray for her heaven yeah she is probably gonna you'll find her on, on instagram if you're on instagram. she was so beautiful yeah so. she's she's such a nice personality as always isn't it? the mm -hmm. videos she's just like it's, it's so okay. sad like the innocent people have cancer so um that is it for today this is a very sensitive, um, important, significant topic that um, we discussed this today. I hope you learned some f um, something from it. I hope you take on what we said and you live, um, keeping your back of your mind and uh, live the way um, um, as a good, good Muslim, inshallah. So thank you so much, Nabila, for coming to our show. Thank you so much, um, Shamila. You're very welcome. I really enjoyed yeah. being here talking I about really this. appreciate your um, important... Um, 
messages about mm. treating your parents right. Yeah. So, thank you so much for your watching as well. Um, out of focus. See you next time. Make sure you are tuning in next time to watch more Out of Focus where we're, we need to talk about more, much more topics like um, health, isn't it? And um, marriages and more, uh, more behaviour towards family and stuff. So see you next time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.